In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the 360 MK2 professional camera stand by Studio Titan. This is a professional heavy-duty camera stand, which is why you have to follow the step-by-step -step assembly instruction for safety purposes. Before you do anything, when you move the vertical column out of the box, you have to inspect to make sure there are two screws are in place. So let me show you which screws. Here's one of the screws, the transportation set screw. Make sure it's in here, it's locked, and do not touch it until later. Now let me show you where the second screw is located. Here's the base, and the second screw is located inside of the base. This is the counterweight transportation securing screw. Make sure you don't touch it until you're ready to lift the center column up. Now let me go over all the parts. So this is the vertical column. This is the biggest piece and the heaviest piece. Here we have the uh, legs, so we have three legs. This is the um, horizontal arm, the basket. It comes with a knob, the hex wrenches, a pair of gloves, and the manual. So let's talk about each part. Here's the vertical column. The vertical column has the base, uh, the vertical center. The vertical center has a scale, which is uh, uh, one of the unique features that not every camera stand has. The vertical center has a counterweight uh, in it. Uh, here is uh, another piece. This piece is to attach a basket. This is the screw I was talking about that we don't touch and four more screws to attach the, vert the horizontal uh, arm. And here we have a counterweight cable. Make sure you do not touch uh, counterweight cable at any time. Now this is the horizontal arm. Uh, the horizontal arm has two camera plates that they're attached to it uh, on each side of the arm. It has two knobs uh, to lock and to move right and left. So this piece is going to be attached to our um, vertical column later. Now here we have three legs. Two of the legs have uh, foot plungers and one of the legs doesn't have a foot plunger. And here's the foot plunger. So all three legs have wheels attached to it. Here's the basket. This is the knob that we will later replace with the transportation set screw right here. We have six millimeter and eight millimeter hex wrenches a pair of gloves for, for safety purposes, and the manual, make sure you read the manual before you start the assembly. Before you start setting it up, make sure you're wearing shoes to protect your feet, you have your gloves in place. If you have an assistant, that would be great. If not, that's okay, you can still assemble it yourself. Uh, and I have um, a set of apple boxes here just to help me with the assembly and elevate the vertical column while I'm setting it up. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna position this apple box underneath the lower part. And I'm going to put this one over here. This side is lighter uh, than the lower part because of the base. And make sure the upper side is a little bit elevated. And that's because when we are removing the uh, counterweight transportation securing screw, we don't want the counterweight system to travel up. So I'm going to attach the legs. Uh, you have to first loosen the screws, and for the purpose of this video, I loosened them already. Just to have enough opening. And then you have to um, 
place the legs with the plungers in a way so they would face the operator. So these two legs, they have foot plungers, right? So we're going to position them right here so they would face the operator. Okay, let's start on first one. And then I'm going to screw this back. Okay, and this one goes over here. Okay, and now I'm going to place the third one. Make sure it's uh, tight and it's not wiggly. All right, so now this part is done. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, uh, I have to elevate uh, this part um, of the column a little, to make sure it's a little bit higher. So I'm going to replace my apple box actually. Okay, I think that's going to be okay. And let's wear gloves because um, now we're going to uh, unscrew or unlock the counterweight transportation securing uh, screw. So counterweight transportation securing screw is located inside of the base. Now we're ready to position our camera stand vertically. Okay. Now let's attach the horizontal arm to our vertical column. So first we have to loosen the screws and again for the purpose of the video they are uh, almost out. And now we're ready to place this on top of our vertical column. Okay, so the screws, all of them, all three pieces, they're going on top of it. So now we're going to place it here and screw it. Make sure you, if you have an assistant, that would be great, but I think I can do it myself as long as I screw at least one, and then I'll be fine. I'm a little bit short, so I will probably need an apple box. And now I'm gonna put the one in the top. Okay, make sure it's tight and it won't fall on you. Okay, I will need the apple box for the rest. They're all good. So the horizontal arm is on place. Um, now, the next step, we're going to replace um, the lock over here, the transportation set screw with the knob. And for that, for safety reason, I'm going to wear gloves again.
When you're unscrewing it, uh, make sure you add a little bit of weight, hold by the horizontal arm, uh, never hold on here because this is a dangerous zone, so you hold on the arm. So now our knob or the lock is on place. Make sure when you uh, placing the knob, uh, you position it straight and don't force it. If it doesn't go, uh, make sure you take it out and position it again. Uh, so now let's actually test it, see how it works. I'm going to loosen it a little bit. You see how it went all the way up right away. So now we can, it goes up and down so now i can actually bring it lower and let's test this knobs as well and move it up right and left so everything is working perfectly and smoothly i love it so the last thing we have to do is just to um, place the basket and for basket i don't need the gloves All right, I need to unscrew this first. Okay, this part is very easy. Just unscrew this and screw it back. All right, and our basket is ready as well. That's it, our camera stand is ready. Uh, make sure when you're putting it away, uh, the um, wheels are locked. That's another safety measure. Uh, the wheels are locked, there is no equipment on, and the center knob is locked as well. And in another video, we're going to show you how to use this camera stand in practice.